What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Baseballogy. Um, today, I am going to be talking about MLB The Show 21, which, uh, if I have the right date for today, it comes out in 11 days, as of, you know, when I'm recording this, right? So it comes out, today is April 9th, it comes out April 20th for people who order the standard edition, so the, the 60 buck edition. Uh, if you order the, I think there's a 70 buck edition, an 80 buck edition, and a 100 buck edition. Okay, I may be wrong on the 70, but uh, I think that's for the PS5. If you order next gen, then it's 70 bucks. Uh, but basically, if you order anything but standard, then it comes out uh, April 16th, which is in a measly week. So I am really excited because this year they are bringing some really interesting stuff to the game, uh, such as like new players. You know, so five five legends that we're gonna see this year that you can pick from in a uh, like a choice pack would be Hank Aaron, Frank Thomas, Babe Ruth, Cal Ripken Jr., and Pedro Martinez. Now those are actually really fun. Like, really good five picks that you can get. I'm not sure how many you can get. All I know is you might be able to get, like, one or two of them. Which still makes it pretty much worth it because you start off with, per se, a Babe Ruth card that absolutely mm -hmm. hits the crap out of the ball. You start off with a Hank Aaron that uh, hits the crap out of the ball. So, you have... You have really good choices here, I think. I think your best choices are going to be Babe Ruth and Hank Aaron, uh, because I think those are the best hitters um, out of the five, right? Uh, obviously, Pedro Martinez is not going to hit the ball well. Um, I, I think Pedro Martinez is only good because like he has some filthy stuff, and I, I'm not sure how, how hard his, his card throws. I assume it's going to be up in the top, like, top 90s, maybe, like, high 90s, 97-ish, right? So, I mean, it will be a good card, I think, but probably not as good as Babe Ruth and Hank Aaron, who just have sweet swings, you know? So, I think it's going to be really, it's going to be really fun to use those guys, but on top of that, we have a bunch of, uh, it's a new series for Team Affinity Stage 1, and that, that's going to be really fun this year because uh, we get to see a bunch of guys, one from every team, obviously, right? And all of these guys are, like, really good, I think, for the most part. Like, Cleveland Indians have uh, Fran Mil Reyes, and um, the Royals have Salvador Perez. So these, these are really good guys that are current stars, on the team they play for. So, it will be pretty exciting to see some of those guys. Um, but, on top of the legends that you get in the uh, in, in, in Diamond Dynasty, right? I, I already said Hank Aaron. He, he's already, like, he's already off the board there. But they, they are adding more players that are going to be really exciting to use because we've never really been able to play with them. Um, a couple of these guys, the last time you played with them was like 06, 07, 08. MLB The Show 08 or something, right? So we, we have Hank Aaron, obviously. I already said that one. We have Pedro Martinez. So that one's another one that I said. Uh, we have Roberto Clemente. Now this one's going to be really fun to use because I think they finally got his rights to use him in the game, which is, he was an amazing hitter. Like, he was an amazing hitter. So, it's going to be really awesome. Uh, he's he's that guy that sadly died right after getting his 3,000th hit. So, I think his, uh, his card is going to be more contact-based and speed, I think. And I, I think he's obviously going to have really good fielding, too. I don't think he's going to have much power. He'll probably have about like 50 to 60 power if he's lucky. 
Otherwise, I think he's really he's going to be really good. He's definitely going to be that guy that you put up in the top of the lineup because he should be able to get on base by, you know, just just bat him in the, in the top of the lineup, you know. Uh, next, you have Alfonso Soriano. Uh, so this one's this one's really fun because um, yeah, I, this one's really fun because we have not been able to see Alfonso Soriano in a uh, in in an MLB the Show game since maybe 2010 it was maybe like one of his last years in, in the MLB. Um, I I don't know how it happens, but he he got his rights put into the. Uh, in the game. So Alfonso Soriano is one of those guys that I kind of grew up watching, uh, mostly as a Cub. I don't remember his time as like a, a National or uh, a Yankee, but his card in, in this in the game I think is going to be as a Yankee. So it's probably going to be his like early 2000s, I think. I'm not sure what they're going to give him. They might give him like Gold Glove or MVP or some, something, right? Uh, next, we have Grady Sizemore, who is, oh my god, Grady Sizemore. That takes me back to 2010. Just That just takes me back. Another big contact hitter uh, that was like an amazing defensive god. I, I don't, like, he was really good defensively, and he had pretty decent speed, and he could hit the ball pretty well, right? So I think Grady Sizemore is going to be a really good card here, and I'm really excited. I might just make a team out of like all of the guys here because I've never really gotten to use these guys in like 10 years. And then finally, as far as I know, Kirby Puckett is going to be in MLB The Show. Uh, Kirby Puckett, I don't, dude, I don't even know when he was last in MLB The Show. If at all, like I, I don't think he has really been in MLB the Show because he played during the like 80s and 90s, if I got that right. So I don't think he he's really been in the game, and this is gonna be fun because I don't really I don't really know too much about him. I know he was kind of like a one of those like good defensive guys, uh, but. Maybe not so great with the bat. He was like a plus hitter, like a plus hitter. Like I don't, I don't know. I I don't know too much about Kirby Puckett. I don't know what they're gonna do with his card, but I think it's gonna be really cool. I think it's gonna be really fun to see, and I am really excited to 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 get going on some streaming for MLB The Show Twenty One because that comes out in a week. I bought the $100 version, and it comes out in a week. I should get it here uh, by release date, I, I hope. I ordered from Walmart, so I hope it, it gets here on time, right? And I'm, real, I'm really excited. I'm going to grind the hell out of, out of the game. I, I'm going to... I'm... I, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in my room for at least twenty hours just playing MLB the show. It's gonna be really fun and I might I might try to drop like two videos on release date. Um it just depends. Just depends on what schoolwork I, I have to get done still. Um But you know what with, with that with that stay tuned for more uh information. Stay tuned for more videos coming up really shortly and make sure to like and subscribe, like like my videos, subscribe to my channel, please. I am at 31 subscribers right now, and I mean, that is a real, I think for the most part, that is a really big increase. You know, I've only done this channel for maybe the last two, two and a half months, and I've gone up like 30 subscribers, so, you know, Thank you to the people who have subscribed to my channel and, you know, follow my uh, content. Uh, you know, thank you for that. Um, but let's, I, I really, I really want to make this a really good channel. So, you know, just help me out with that. We, I, I got a bunch of more stuff coming on. So with that, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to Baseballogy and see you next time.